Order of Operations, Grade 3. How do we solve a problem with more than one type of operation, such as multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction? Let's try an example. 5 plus 2 times 4. This problem has two operations, addition and multiplication. We can solve this problem in two ways. Let's try the first method. We start with addition. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Then we multiply the 7 by 4 to get 28. Now let's try the other method. Multiplying first. 2 times 4 equals 8. Now we add 5 to 8 to get 13. As you can see, each method gives a different answer. So which method is correct? When solving problems with more than one type of operation, you need to figure out which operation to do first. A set of rules, known as the order of operations, tells you the order in which calculations are done in a problem. First, you multiply and divide from left to right. Then, you add and subtract from left to right. Let's solve our problem using the order of operations. First, we multiply from left to right. 2 times 4 equals 8. Then we add. Add 5 to 8 to get 13. So the method on the right was correct, and the method on the left was wrong. Let's try another example. 9 minus 8 divided by 4. According to the order of operations, we divide first. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Now we subtract. 9 minus 2 equals 7. So the answer is 7. Let's try a different problem. 4 plus 5 times 6. According to the order of operations, we multiply first. 5 times 6 equals 30. Now we add 4 plus 30. We get 34. So the answer is 34. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.